What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home strength work for Friday, December 11th. Four rounds today, 12 pike holds with alternating leg lifts, as well as close to max effort sets of V-ups. So you'll be going until you've got about two reps left in the tank on those V-ups, and you'll call it a set each time at that point. Let's talk about those pike holds with alternating leg lifts. So remember the foundation of that pike hold, the foundation of getting us upside, upside down is that inchworm. So if you're not ready for those pike holds, you can always sub in eight inchworms each round today instead, folding over as much as you can, keeping those arms stiff, keeping those shoulders protracted, that means pressed apart, giving me your best plank push-up in the bottom, and then keeping those arms and legs stiff, folding that torso over. This is helping you start to mimic what it's gonna feel like to be upside down, and then standing tall. Take your time, if you're doing eight of those, it's gonna be kind of a long set, but that's what you need to build this strength to get you ready to get inverted. From there, if you plan on doing those pike holds today, I like to point my toes back, so I'm actually on the top of my toes, then I'm going to walk my hands back, hands directly beneath the shoulders, fingertips forward. Press that chest through to get your torso as upright as you can. Keeping that leg long, toe pointed towards the ceiling. Reach and get as close to stacking your ankle, hip, shoulder, and wrist at the top. Hold at the top for a moment each time. And then replace. After that... Rest about one minute, and then you'll go into max effort minus two V-ups. On these, starting off, hollow body position, keeping legs and arms long, starting with hands and feet close to the ground. We don't want to start up here high. And then from there, it's fast to the top, controlled on the way down. Fast to the top controlled on the way down. If you feel yourself uh, losing low back contact with the ground, if you're having to bend arms or knees to get to the top, then let's go to a tuck up instead. Same thing, control the down, arms and legs long in the bottom, fast motion to the top, keep your hands off your legs, keep your hands off the ground, find this balance point, and then control that motion back down. When you get to that point where you feel like you're starting to have technical breakdown, that's when you want to call it. That means that you probably have one or two reps left in the tank before it starts to really get sloppy. So that's what we're shooting for today. We're towing the limit of technical breakdown, but we're not going to complete burnout. If we're not able to find this long hollow position for the tuck up or the V up, we can sub today with bent knee rocks and same thing will happen here. You'll rock for time on these. I want your hips to come up off the ground. Make sure you're keeping that bowl with your low back. You'll go until you've got about five, rep, or five seconds left in the tank, and you'll call it good on those. So four sets today, 12 of those alternating pike leg lifts into a max effort minus two set of V-ups, tuck-ups, or bent knee rocks, whichever version is gonna uh, work best for you. Rest a minute between each movement, and uh, good luck on these today. This is our performance week for these two movements, so we'll be switching over to new strength movements for our gymnastics starting next week. Good luck, and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.